Thailand will reduce their mandatory quarantine period for foreign travelers from next month. It will shorten the quarantine to 10 days or from two weeks. Uh, from October, quarantine may no longer be required in some areas once vaccinations become more widespread. For now, Thailand is extending its state of emergency to the end of May. This means that the annual Songkran festivities will be affected for a second year. Saksasa Sombat has more. The good news first, all arrivals to Thailand will not have to spend two weeks in quarantine anymore. It is now being reduced to 10 days and those people that have been vaccinated within three months of travel and can show some form of proof, they only have to spend seven days, so one week, half of the original time in quarantine. This does not apply, however, for those people coming from countries where there are certain strains, certain mutations of the COVID-19 virus, they still have to serve two whole weeks. The hope here is that eventually by the end of the year, by October at the earliest, that no quarantine whatsoever will be necessary. But that depends that on the amount of people that have been vaccinated in certain places of Thailand. Now, Thailand plans to have um, at least half of the population being vaccinated and inoculated by the end of the year. And the main motivation behind this is, of course, uh, the desperate need to have foreign uh, tourists to come back here, especially now that the vaccine is being rolled out across the world. So the country has handled the COVID-19 pandemic relatively well, but it came at a high cost. Within the past 12 months, the entire tourism industry has collapsed and the borders are still closed. Now, the government's task force has extended the state of emergency, which has been in use for almost a year now until the end of May. But the hope here is that by July, most of the measures that against the spread of COVID-19 won't be necessary anymore so that daily life can come to some form of new normal. Normal. But until then, there will be restrictions and measures for the Thai New Year's festivities, also known here as Songkran. Gone are the water fights, gone are the foam parties and the mass events. Instead, the authorities are encouraging more traditional uh, Songkran methods, for example, mostly religious activities, but also the pouring of water on the hands of senior people as a show of respect. But unlike last year, Songkran is actually taking place now, and also people will be allowed to travel across across provinces to spend their time with their friends and family for the Thai New Year's festivities.